the interview has just crossed half a million views. And while lots of people have been liking and sharing and leaving comments on the film, one comment stood out in particular. Okay, Lawrence, you caught us. Let me take you back to the beginning and show you how we faked this film. This is Lucy. We met on an Amsterdam filmmakers group when I was looking for an actress for my first short film, Weekend Break. She got in touch and we went on a road trip to a castle in the deep south of Holland with a crew of 10 people where we hung out with 100 furries for two days. It's exactly as weird as it sounds. I made her dress up as a fox for that film, then she got dressed up as a daffodil for a music video, but for this film, she didn't get dressed up. Okay. Because she wrote the script. The script was a bit different in the beginning because initially the idea was that two people were on a date and then the same situation happened. But then I thought it's actually way more interesting if you add the element of an interview, which is already awkward. I like exploring situations, awkward situations and how different characters react. Is it drawn from personal experience? I've worked in a lot of offices and I know that feeling of um, yeah, if you're a bit hungover or you feel a bit under the weather, that you know there's only these two cubicles in this office. <laughs> you have to make some kind of decision or choice at some point. The crew was made up of Hayden, who I've worked with for years recording live concerts on sound, and Roderick, who shot Weekend Break as the DOP, both of whom are great dancers. Roderick brought Nino to Gaffer and Christiane on Grip, and I asked Eddie, who had acted in a test short I made, to be involved. Ziggy also worked on that short, and they came on board as our makeup artist. Lucy was going to play the lead and produce, and Daniel got involved as an additional producer, so Lucy would be able to focus on acting during the shoot. Daniel and Lucy had worked together on a YouTube series called The Play, and he was also involved in the Daffodils music video. The other actress, who was meant to act opposite Lucy, got sick the week of the shoot, and luckily Joanna was able to jump on board last minute. Oh, and that's me. I got dressed up as a bee and made this music video in an attempt to start a rap beef with the sassy owl over his track, I'm a bee. Unfortunately, that didn't pan out, so it was back to working on the interview. Daniel, Lucy and I spent a few weeks in pre-production, finding locations and lining up people's availability. It was in pre-production that we decided to use the characters' costumes to visually contrast their personalities. And it was at this point that I decided to use inserts of their shoes to hammer this home. We locked in dates and locations for January 2020. Roderick secured a toilet through a friend for the first day of shooting, and we cranked out all the toilet scenes, but ran up against a hard deadline, so we missed a couple of shots. In the end, we didn't have much time, did we? To, to, so we didn't spend that long on, on the toilet scenes. Yeah, we ran out of time, and we we missed shot that I'd storyboarded. That was fixed in the edit. Like, I, I when we left there, I didn't think we had everything to tell that story. Originally, this shot was meant to be Joanna at the sink talking to a closed cubicle. We didn't get that shot, so we used Foley to fill in what Joanna was doing outside and did this slightly jarring cut of Lucy inside the cubicle. Sorry, are you... Are you all right? Yes, yes, fine! Two of the final shots ended up being handheld so we could squeeze them in in time, but it ended up working in the finished film as the shakiness of the footage added to the urgency of what was happening in the story. Shout out to Roderick's friend for letting us use this location. On the second day, we shot at my workplace. At the time, I was working at Bull King, a Dutch shaving brand, directing the TV commercials and creating all of their online content. We managed to get the office scene shot here along with the scene in the stairs, and shout out to them for letting us use this location. Around this time, I was working hard to make sure that the background of my shots were also interesting. I had been doing that in my commercial work and that carried over to this project. For example, we filled up the background behind Joanna with members of the crew. That's Daniel, Nino and Christiane, and we kicked some light onto this plant to make it pop a little bit. We also tried a shot with Roderick walking into frame to add some movement, but this ended up being distracting so it didn't make the edit. Lucy managed to secure a cafe for the second half of that day, and we aimed to shoot the cafe corridor lift and a scene outside the toilet here. The cafe was huge, so again we filled it up with members of the crew. That's an extra creating some movement, then this is Nino, Ziggy, Lucy's partner Kuhn, two more extras, and then that's Daniel handing Joanna the coffee. Every single member of the crew ended up being involved in this shot, and it was a pain to choreograph and hit the focus marks, but I think it was worth it in the end as it adds a lot to the finished project. We shot the elevator and corridor scenes here, and this scene outside the toilet that didn't make the edit, 
and once again we ran out of time at the location. This all happened in January 2020 and we were planning another shoot day for March when the country went into lockdown. We tried to organise another shoot about nine months later, but the night before the shoot the country went into another partial lockdown and I left Holland two weeks later. What was your thoughts when we shot the first two days and then we couldn't, we weren't able to find a day to shoot? Everyone worked on that project for free. Everyone gave up their time and it, it was a really great group of people to work with. So getting all those people back together again was really difficult because no one was being paid. So of course they had to put paid projects uh, first. And then of course COVID came along. As time went on and more time had passed, I thought this might not get finished at all when you were leaving and we wanted it to be completed by then and then that day came and went and we were no closer to finishing. I thought, well, like, this is just a lost project. We have to accept that. Luckily, I was back in Amsterdam for a month in October 2022 and we managed to organise a shoot day then. Most of the original crew weren't available, so Bart, who worked on the Daffodils music video, came on board as our DOP. Vinny was our sound recordist, and Joshua, who was also on the daffodil shoot, did hair and makeup. Lucy had cut and coloured her hair between the shoots, and Joshua had to match the colour and the makeup to the original footage. Bart also did a great job matching the tone of the footage to the original shoot. We were also joined by owner who helped out with the lighting and stood in as an extra for this shot. Simon had originally agreed to act in the project in March 2020, and luckily he was still available to be involved. He's a full-time improviser and he added this reaction which wasn't in the script and he also raps but unfortunately we couldn't find space for that in this project. The pickup day shouldn't have been that difficult but because one of our labs broke and we shot with both actors in frame there wasn't good sound separation which was something I didn't notice until the edit. Luckily Lucy was able to ADR her lines and Hayden did a great job of fixing the audio in post. We wrapped the final shots and it took me another few months to edit, partly because I was working around other things, but also because of how awkward the final scene in the toilet was. I had to edit that, but I've seen that film more than anybody. Um, yeah, how did you do that? I mean, it, it took me forever really... because I just, I just didn't want to, like, I really didn't want to do it, to be honest. <laughs> like, it was just horrible. I didn't, I really didn't want to do it. That editing is time consuming and irritating anyway. And it just, it was awful. <laughs> There's no other way about it, it was awful. Once we had a pretty solid edit, we realised that you didn't care about Lucy's character until halfway through the film. Daniel, Lucy and I discussed this a lot and we managed to solve it by adding this shot. It's a very short clip, but for some reason it helps you get invested in Lucy's character much earlier in the film. Once the edit was locked, Daniel asked Seth to put together a score. The film was graded, Hayden created the foley and then he did a sound mix as well and then we send it out to festivals. How did you feel when we'd submitted to all those festivals and didn't get into them? If I'm honest, I wasn't hugely surprised because yeah. I think it's quite a niche kind of film. But I think the most important thing is, does it make people laugh? And yeah. since we put it online, I think we found out it does make people laugh. And I, I think that for me is already an amazing thing. I thought it was going to sit on YouTube and have like 1K views for six months. I had no idea it was going to blow up like this. all of us on Christmas Day and my mum and dad have got this huge flat screen TV like huge and then like the sound popped up Mac to the Mac and, uh, I was like oh my god I can't believe we're watching 